Good morning, everybody. Good morning. It is Monday morning. We're Happy Heart Treasures. I'm Steve. <laughs> He's so ridiculous. <laughs> I'm Donna. She is wound up a little bit this morning. Uh, let's see. She Who's thinks, the one that's wound up? She thinks I'm a little wound up this morning. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, I'm trying to drive my coworker a little bit nuts. And he's, uh, he's, it's working. We're resellers in Lincoln, Nebraska. Bring full homers time. Up stuff. Yes, we are. And today, we're going to talk to you about $8,000 makeup oh my goodness no joke we're it's not even kidding for real it's not clickbait yeah just wait yeah we're gonna discuss <laughs> this we're gonna show you what you got we're gonna ask you guys opinions and then some other stuff i guess uh, but we have a lot of we had a big selling weekend oh, yes we, we did 28 items to go out today i was hoping to hit that 30 mark but well actually one of them has two things so 29 maybe by the time we're done we'll hit 30 yeah uh, some little things, some big things, some a lot of things. So, anything else you want to say before we get into this, Donna? I just want to say thank you to all the new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. We had 72 new subscribers yeah. last week. So, thank you and welcome, and we hope you enjoy the ride. Yes, and also, really quick, I want to give a quick shout out oh. to... Gracie. Yes, to Gracie. Randy's daughter, Gracie. We heard uh, she's a big watcher of the channel. So, hey, shout out, Gracie. Thank you for watching the channel. And I heard that Gracie's thinking about being a teacher when she grows up. So, go get them, yep. girl. Donna's mom was a teacher. Yeah. Our youngest daughter is going to be a teacher. She's going into her senior year. So, yeah. Yeah, we're all for teachers. So, hi, Gracie, and thank you for watching. And, yeah. All right, time for me to put Donna to work. Uh oh. <laughs> Okay, Donna, it's today the day we get Alaska. I have not looked at I anything. I hope so. Do you know? We hope so. No, I don't. I have not looked at any any orders. Okay. She doesn't believe me, but I'm telling you, I haven't looked at any orders. I don't know if we're getting Alaska, but maybe today's the day. All right, here we go. We have a few things already pulled because they're closed and then some other stuff that were not down here. Here you go. A little kid's Harley Davidson shirt. That has been listed for a long time. Somebody sent a couple of lowball offers and I let them have it for four dollars just to move it on. Nice. And then the next one is a shirt. It's Gitman Bros. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I gotta tell you where it's going. Wow. Well. That shirt is going to California. Then next up we have a Gitman Bros shirt right there, button down shirt, and that is going to Florida for twelve dollars plus shipping. Okay. And then a pair of jeans, American Eagle jeans. Is that what they are? Mm -hmm. Okay, American Eagle jeans. They sold for $10.19, and they are going to Texas. Back to school. And then what else you got over here? I have a life application study Bible. We got this from the clean-out we did with our friends. And, and it's in really good condition. Yeah, it's like new. And this is going to Pennsylvania for $29.99 plus shipping. Okay. And this sold? Yes. Somebody messaged. And they said He's like heavy. their mother used to have one of these and so they just wanted to see the inside so I unscrewed it, showed them the inside, and they bought it for their mom. Is he a bank and like a doorstop thing or is he just a bank? Uh, it says he is a coin penny bank. So it's just a cast iron bank, I guess. And it is going to Virginia and it sold for twenty-four dollars and twenty-nine cents. He's cool. Yes, he is. And then these are bamboo serving trays. Yes, they are. Uh, these are our, our friends that moved to Kansas. They had these. Funny thing, we had two sets of four of these, and they were listed for quite a while now, and one set of four sold, and I shipped it last week, and now this set of four sold, and it's go it sold like right after the same other one. Same people? No, not same people. Oh, wow. So somebody might have been watching it, and then it got down to the last one, and okay. so then they snagged it. Sold for $22.99 and going to Texas. Texas. Right there. Texas. Okay, now we're caught up. Now we can get into the normal. We're going to box 83. 83. Oh, man. Okay, so we have those boxes that we showed you that we got from Randy. And we're going to put a rack in the center of this room. And in case anybody, including my wife, is wondering why we don't have a rack in front of this room. In the middle of this room. It's because I have these big, big boxes. And they have, like, packing materials in them. You can see some foam, some paper, some bubbles. We got big boxes over here. I don't actually need boxes this big, but they have some stuff in them. I told him to cut them down and yeah, store so them flat. 
yeah so i'm going to store them i'm going to empty them we're going to clean this room up i'm going to clean this room up and then we'll get a rack in the center here for the boxes today maybe today probably tomorrow today i got a ship all right in box 83 there should be a yellow mug coffee mug and m m's coffee mug smiley face m m this is quite old or it's been listed for a long time you can tell by the numbering system and there it is yellow m m coffee mug sold for 9.99 inside everyone there's a little nut and that's going to Ohio. <laughs> All right, next box six, Donna. Six. All right, in box six, we got a box right there. This one? And this is a vintage oh, yeah. color wheel. It's opened on the upside down, but you see the different colored panels here. You may have seen these before. They got a light bulb and it spins around and you put these on like aluminum Christmas trees to have it change colors. And this sold for $99.99. And it is going to California. That's awesome. Yep, and that came from Iowa. Okay. Next up is from a clean out that we did in Columbus in box 79. 79. Washington. In here, there are two books. They're probably on the bottom. Oh yeah. All right, these are Bernina books about feet. <laughs> features, see that? Features, yeah. Volume one and volume two, and those sold for $66 right there. Bernina is a good name. Yeah, and those so are going to Washington. Okay. All right, in box 81, we sold some of Donna's favorite stuff in the entire whole world. Yarn. Must be yarn. We're looking for Melrose Designers Choice Cravenella Wool and Rayon. Free skein package right there. It's Edel. Edel Bitty. That sold for $9.37, and that is going to Michigan. Inbox EE, we're going to look for a spelling book. EE. -E. All right, inbox EE, there's a spelling book. It's kind of a brown cover. Five or six. There you go, that one. The one with the brown six. orange ship. This is from 1943, my spelling book. This is our friends that moved to Kansas, and it sold for $9.99, and it's going to Wisconsin. And that is, for being that old of a book, man, that thing is in excellent, excellent condition. Yes. So, there we go. Wisconsin, it goes. And I also had in the cabinet where I keep some books, this Plymouth Service Manual. 36 to 42. This is from one of the first estates we ever cleaned out in Humboldt. And oh, this wow, sold, that is old. Yeah, this sold for $12.00. And it is going to MS. MS, is that Mississippi? <laughs> yeah, I believe MS is Mississippi. <laughs> I know it's not Alaska. We're going to call it Mississippi, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go box LV. This next item we got while at the Plains to Profit reseller rally in Omaha this last February where we met a whole bunch of new people. They're now our friends. And Donna picked this up, I believe. She was looking at picking it up, and I think Alicia, Ink Picker, said, if it feels like you want it, then you want it. Or was that what she said? Yeah. I said, I feel like I want it. And she says, if you feel like it, then you do. Something like that. And there it is. It is a Vera Bradley Folio Travel Jewelry Excellent Condition. Really, really good condition. Sold for $21.99. There's our doggy. And it's going to Florida. Nice. Next up is in box W. W. W as in window. Which way did I Which go? Which way did I go? That was our Fun geocaching back. name. Yeah. Our geocaching name is WWDIG. WWDIG. Stands for which way did I go? Because in geocaching, a lot of times we're lost. And so that was our name. Or still is, I guess. There is a Srixon uh, golf head cover that sold for... $11.99 and it's going to Texas and it came from the Goodwill bins. Nice. So $11.99 and that probably, we probably paid a quarter for it. All right, Donna, have you ever won an $8,000 makeup? Have I ever wanted it? Yeah. No. You sure? Then why are you holding $8,000 makeup? Check this out. Ta-da! This is Dior 
I don't know how to pronounce it. Dior 24K Prestige Dermatox. And see the plastic protecting the 24 karat label. It's still even on the it's on still that. on. So you set that down here. And we're not kidding, guys. We're going to show you in just a second. But look at this box of stuff. Look at the fancy gold writing on the top of the lid. It's Dior Prestige. There's a serum. red caviar serum. And there's a couple little spoons. And in here, oh. this box set listed brand new on their website is $8,000. $8,000. Not $800, $8,000. $8,000. Uh, here's a Dermatac, Dermatox Biothermal Red Caviar Mask right there. The case that it's in feels like some expensive gun case or something. And this is the Biothermal Red Caviar Cream right there. So our friends, and then there's two like glass spoons right there that you use with it. So our friends were out thrifting one day yeah. in, in Kansas. Kansas, middle of the country, and they saw this box and in the window and they're like whoa hey come look at this and so they looked at it and they didn't have a did they not have a price didn't on? have a price on it and so that they could find and so the lady said 25 dollars, and larry was like okay yeah so they picked it up for 25 dollars. and then they got home and they found a label on the bottom for four dollars really yes it was on the bottom all right so they paid 25 dollars for it so they brought it to us and they're like we well, paid 25 for it this is what we found so in doing research oh and the case is leather you can tell it yeah the case is leather but obviously if you're paying eight thousand dollars for something it's going to be really fancy um so here's the situation here's the website if you don't believe us yeah dor24k.com is the website so we're doing some research trying to figure out what to do with this uh, we'll show you the condition too here in just a second, but on offer up this there's a screenshot of twelve hundred dollars was thirty five hundred, um, so that is an option if you want to pick this up from offer up. Yeah. And then on eBay when you search it there are none listed, but then sold. Here's a screenshot that shows seven hundred sixty nine dollars with line draw through it. I mean they took an offer off of seven hundred sixty nine dollars free shipping, so we don't know what they took for it. So they picked it up for $25 and they brought it over and they're like, here you go. What do you want to do with this? <laughs> and Donna's like, well, heck yeah, let's put it on. Yeah. Let's list it. We're listed high and see what happens. And me being me, I'm like, whoa, the horses. About a year, year and a half ago, there was a big like discussions in eBay groups because people were, they were suspending people for listing cologne as yeah. used you can't sell per per perfume and cologne you can't sell it as used you can sell the vintage bottles that's kind of a workaround for it but they were like selling used bottles of perfume right so they only want you to sell brand new this is not brand new how do you know here's why uh, we're going to show you and I'm, uh, this is what we want your feedback what would you do i mean obviously there's value to this we're going to open these up and show you like what they look like inside obviously the perfume bottle it's not perfume. It's the serum. Bottle, the bottle here is serum. Does that unscrew then? Is it just a spray or? Yeah, it's a spray bottle. It's only a one ounce. That whole big thing only has one ounce in it. Mm -hmm. So anyway, that we obviously can't show you. But here, we'll take the lids off of these. You want to show them the lid part inside Okay, so there? This, this lid here, you can see there's some like product on it a little bit on the screws. This one does not, it's really clean. Um, so when you take the little lid thing off, it's kind of not mixed. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a little separated, like you probably stir it up with the little glass spoon. And this one, this one looks like this. And see to me, if you're selling $8,000 makeup type stuff, healthcare, you're gonna have pull it off and it's gonna be like that whipped look oh, like no, brand it's new too, it's not she doesn't agree with me no i don't agree with you but i think it's full that's what they look like we don't know we don't we don't know i say they're not new well they're not new because the one has we just opened up residue so on the new. inside yeah. well so that's where we're at we have it i said i, I told them well I'll, I'll do some research here's our research what do you guys think <laughs> <laughs> Okay. What would you do? Obviously, there's still value here. There is still value. The picture value. of the one that sold for seven offer off of seven sixty nine has one picture, and that picture it's, it's is like this. 
This that. is the one picture they, they didn't don't show, show anything open else or anything. So we can't find any really good pictures of it, like and, and like with how the lid anybody open. else listed it or anything. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, w what would you do? I'm not gonna throw it away. No. They paid twenty five bucks for it, but there's obviously value here. So, well, what do you guys think? Put your comments down below. Yeah. Do we do auction? on it like you started on an auction is there any problem with listing it i mean as long as we show the condition and we show it that's the main thing because you know you want to show anything so they don't open so it so all of go, our experienced resellers on there tell yeah, us what tell they us, would do tell us what you would do with that <laughs> leave it in the comments yes. and we will probably listen to you guys because we're not very smart anyway with this stuff yeah Okay, before we go on with the what solds, I just wanted to tell a few of you that were waiting for um, the Halloween ghost cup cozies. There's some out there now. So awesome. check that out. Just search Happy Heart Treasures and you'll find coffee cozies. Yep. And I did get some nightmare. Nightmare Before Christmas. Nightmare Before Christmas buttons as requested. So I'm going to work on those on orange and black thread all right awesome all right next up we're gonna do some more what solds and i've been listing stuff from the fire buyout and uh we have a couple boxes out there we put any things in and things are selling right away and she's telling me to smile so i'm not going to <laughs> yes you are in r3 box right here this is a department 56 1957 ambulance and this sucker right here sold for 35 dollars 99 and that is going to new york and then next up, we have this Texaco uh, pump, fire pump, gas pump. Yeah, that die cast. That sold for $17.99 to a repeat buyer. And that is going to Ohio right there. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Repeat buyer, I don't know if you watch the channel, but thank you because we really appreciate it. Next up in here, I will put a picture this is a first gear Texaco 1956 Ford Fire Chief car with helmet. And this sold for $23 and it's going to Iowa across the river. And then this morning we woke up, there was a sale overnight and I listed two of these. Got two of these Billy Blazes uh, Fire Rescue Heroes figures. They were listed at $14.99 each. Somebody bought them both for $29.98. And they said, please secure properly in shipping. It's for a classroom lesson on 9-11 with specific focus on firefighters and Joe Torillo. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I hope I am. Young students do better if a physical item is associated with a lesson, grounding a memory concept. Thank you so much. This will be great for the upcoming lesson. Wow, so if you great. happen to watch this video, thank you for your purchase. And I hope this is awesome for your lesson. Thank you. Oh, and that's in California. <laughs> All right, next I have something in R2, and I have a pair of shoes that I'll grab out of the shoe closet. I got R2 sitting here because it's supposed to be on a rack in the middle of the room. And we have this little puppy dog right there. Oh, he's cute. It's a Zol Puppy Dog M series. And we have this really cool pair of Brooks Glycerin GTS Glycerin 20 shoes. And I'm going to show you something ironic about those. They're Broncos colors. Not only are they Broncos colors, but I did not plan this, but bam, look at that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> are they the same? Almost. Almost the same. They're not the same, but they're almost the same. First of all, back to the puppy dog. The puppy dog sold for $11. He's from the fire buy and he's going to Washington right there. And the shoes, I got these at a garage sale uh, last week or the week before. I did pay $10 for them. Uh, they sold for $34 and they're going to Rhode Island. No Alaska's yet. Is it still gonna be longer? And when we don't show shipping, obviously I am checking where they're going, waiting for Alaska. If we get it and we're not filming, we will definitely grab a camera. All right, next I'm gonna grab box 34 for an item. In here we have a vintage thermos, uh, just thermos bottle and it is in really good condition inside there. It sold for $16. It is going to Oregon. It is from the 247 buyout, if you've seen that video. Okay, then we're going to box 46 right here. And in box 46, this is some firehouse stuff. But down in here, we have this belt buckle. State of Oklahoma, 75th 
anniversary jubilee diamond jubilee 75th anniversary belt buckle that sold for $17.99 and that is going to california right there i'm going to do one more before i have donna finish up so i'm grabbing box 83. all right in box 83 we got some cut coat knives a while back um at kind of a little private pick buyout type thing and we sold all the knives it is not in here oh yeah it is let me get down in here and this is a wooden cutco box and it only has two knives in it right here they're 1059 1059 steak knives like that and there's only two so i listed this and i got an offer for 50 dollars, and so i took the 50 dollars for that and they're going to maryland not alaska all right, there's a few more things. I'm going to no. have Donna grab them. <laughs> I'm going to have Donna grab the last few things here. I thought you were going to say Alaska. Oh, we had somebody ask us just yesterday, actually, how do we know what box to put it in when we're listing? How do we know what box to put it in next? Because, like, the clothes, we condense them down and then just go at the end of the numbers. They go numerical order. So, yeah, numerical orders for the clothes. But the other stuff, basically, when we need a new box and we don't have any just empty boxes, um, we just go in here. It's a random area of boxes and we'll just feel and look for one that's like empty. Like 101 feels pretty light. There's like three things in here. So there's room. For so what I do is I'll come down, I'll pull these down and I will take the items in here. If there's only like one or two things and I will get on the computer, I will find another box to put them in so that I take, I move their location just so when I take the box out to the garage, it's completely empty and can be filled up instead of taking like half full or three fourths or half empty or three fourths empty boxes. Now, if we're pulling orders like this and we pull something that's empty, it's the last thing in the box. Then when we do it, I do this where I put the lid on the bottom so I know that box is empty and can be pulled. So like this box, be one of the next ones we fill up. Just a little how to, that's how we do things here. We just had something cool sell that was a Donna listing. Do you want to do it now or at the end? Do I know? No, you don't know about it yet. I don't like to wait. You don't like to wait? Yeah. All right, well then in that case, Donna, go to the box 25. She has no idea. You think I'll like it? Yep, in box 25, you're gonna find some flatware, silverware. Really? Yeah. Really? Yep, Reed Barton. The 31 piece lot. Yes, 31 piece Reed Barton lot. We'll show these. This sold for $54.99. And we'll get them out and show you the pattern or we whatever here. We have Reed Barton steak knives too. Nice. But I listed them separately. Do you like that sale, Donna? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't list these, but like a last week sometime. Really? Yeah. This nice. is fairly new. Except I don't know how to open it here. I try to wrap them so that they're not banging against each other. Yeah. So here's what it looks like. That's the pattern or whatever. And that is Reed Barton, $54.99. And that's going to Pennsylvania. Nice. All right. Well, that's fun. Yeah, it is. All right. Let's go to box K right now. It's right here. We're here. And in box K, you're looking for a lot of three Hallmark ornaments. They're all in boxes. Right there, these three ornaments sold for $15.29, and they're going to Florida right there. And then we're going to box V. All right, in box V, you're looking for, you'll know what you're looking for. The box right there. Oh, yeah. The yeah. paints. A box of paints, brand new, unopened box of paints. Where did those come from? It says BV Garage Sale. Bella Vista Garage Bella Sale. Bella Vista, Arkansas, right there. $20.69 and headed to Ohio right there. And next we're going to go to box number one. That might be hard to reach. You need to grab it. There you go. We dug box one out. It's kind of hard to get to. And Donna found this and sold this right there. That is a LE, green LE Smith moon and stars toothpick holder. That sold for $7. And that is going to Tennessee. I think two more things. Okay. Uh, box L J first of all. Oh. And these are little. That's your hint. <laughs> Have you ever seen anything so cute? 
as baby shoes. Baby shoes are the cutest. Uh, and those are a pair of baby shoes right there. They sold for $10.39. We've had those forever. And they're going to Washington. So, so cute. One more thing. Last chance for Alaska. Box 31. This comes from Good Friday. Mm. Good Friday buyout, if you don't know, is the very first, like, buyout private pick type thing that we ever did on Good Friday three years ago. So almost three and a half years ago now. And we still sell things from there. And in here you're looking for a Red Wing USA Pottery Bud Vase. Right there, probably. Is it blue? Yep, it's blue. And there it is. The Red Wing Bud Vase. Sold for $10, and it is going to Minnesota. It's actually going to Red Wing, Minnesota. Oh, yeah. It's a Red Wing Vase. Where it came from? Must be where it came that, from. I don't know. Where they make them? I don't know. That's it. Alaska, you foiled us again, but we will get you in time. <laughs> we will get you. That's it, everybody. That is 30 things with the silverware buy. That's awesome. So that's awesome. We're going to get to work. I got to get to shipping. We're going to have, I think, dinner tonight with one of the kids. Yep. And just keep on plugging, keep on working, right? Yep. We went to the storage unit yesterday to kind of consolidate a little bit. Yeah, I had a whole bunch of fishing poles and fishing stuff, and I wanted to just sell them in a couple of big lots, which will end here this afternoon, uh, just to move them on because I need to get rid of those oddball things because we got about three weeks before the storage units do and i don't want to have a, i don't want to carry a second storage and unit, so we though. have bargains for you on 92 yeah and Corey and Teresa grams and pops are going to come down and go with us yes yeah, so the last weekend in august i did put a thing out today in one of the groups on facebook asking for ideas for places with like a private room you can hold or whatever yeah but so, if you're going to be in the area lincoln nebraska area um the last weekend it will be friday night august 30th is when we're going to do this i was talking i know but you were going to guess on the date i didn't want to do that <laughs> all right so we're going to actually like do the garage sale thing thursday and friday and then friday evening we haven't have a we don't have a location yet but we will have one pizza soon pizza ranch is what i'm hoping for is it yeah well maybe we'll do that we're going to get that lined up soon but we do have a facebook group that you can join because we would like kind of a head count so we know kind of how much space we need yeah we're going to get a back room if we can so we're going to post a link to the facebook group in this video yes and if you want to join the link so if anybody's going to be in the area, Lincoln, Omaha on Friday, August 30th yep. for dinner time-ish. Yeah, it's not an event. There's no tickets. Yeah. We're not buying dinner. You got to buy your own food and stuff, but it's just like a hangout. We're going to hang you out wanna, there for a while. If you want to eat and with, pops will be with there. us and chit chat. And yeah, we're going to all hang out for a while. So I'm sure it'll be kind of like open house kind of thing. Come eat, visit, leave, you know, when you need to yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, so if you have any questions or want any more information, just join that Facebook group or email us or Grams and Pops. And we would love to meet you all. Absolutely. All right, that's all we got. I think that's all the announcements. That's everything. Since there's no Alaska, we have no drawing, but maybe next time. If you know anybody from Alaska. <laughs> beg them for a sale. No, don't beg them for a sale. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah. All right, cool. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Steve. I'm Don. We are Happy Our Treasures. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.